Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn Marquee Tool in Adobe Photoshop. So friends, Marquee Tool are one of the most simplest selection tool that Photoshop can offer. If you can open a Marquee Tool from this toolbox, you can see a four different option. From here, you can see a four different Marquee Tool, which is Rectangular Marquee Tool, Elliptical Marquee Tool, Single Row Marquee Tool, and a Single Column Marquee Tool. Now we are going to see all these four one by one and also going to see all the properties of this marquee tool. So friends, you need to note that you can quickly select the marquee tool by pressing the M and then you can also switch between a different marquee tool or elliptical marquee tool by pressing shift plus M. For example, right now I am in move tool. If I am pressing the M, as you can see, I am shift to this marquee tool. But by default, this rectangular marquee tool is selected. Now, if I am moving to elliptical marquee tool, then I have to press shift plus M from my keyboard. Then as you can see, I am switching from the rectangular marquee tool to elliptical marquee tool. So like this, you can switch from one marquee tool to another marquee tool. So friends, now I am creating one new document where we are going to see all this marquee tool and its property. So now I'm just creating our new document from here, which is called Marquee Tool. So friends, now I'm creating one new document for that. Go to File and create a new or you can also press Ctrl plus N from your keyboard. Okay, I'm just name it Tool and just make it Web Find black background and press ok so this is my new document is created so I'm just dragging this my Photoshop text to here so we are going to do all the experiment on this text okay so friends marquee tool is a basic selection tool that can select your Photoshop layer in a several shape like a rectangle elliptical single pixel vertical or a horizontal line also you can create a square as well as circle now by default marquee tool makes the rectangular selection but you can change the another variant of the marquee tool according to your needs you just need to press m for a rectangular marquee tool or you can also change by shift plus m to a different different marquee tool so friends first we are going to check a rectangular marquee tool now for the rectangular marquee tool you just need to drag like this and you can create a rectangle okay so rectangular marquee tool is by default selected marquee tool in Adobe Photoshop rectangular marquee tool as the name suggests so obviously you will able to create a rectangular shape so right like this you can create a rectangular shape now the second is a square marquee tool now from this same rectangular marquee tool you can also create a square how so just need to select a rectangular marquee tool and whenever you create a rectangle just press shift from your keyboard then it will be automatically converted into the square so like this you can create a square in adobe photoshop using a marquee tool rectangular marquee tool so guys this is a square marquee tool he is able to make a square shape selection on the image layer the square marquee tool is a sub tool of the same rectangular marquee tool so guys like this you can create a square now friends next we are going to check elliptical marquee tool from here you can see second option is elliptical marquee tool now by pressing the shift plus m you can switch the elliptical marquee tool from the rectangular marquee tool now with the help of this elliptical marquee tool you can make an elliptical shape and if you click and hold alt key your select will be created from the center for example right now i am creating my elliptical like this so like this you can creating your elliptical marquee tool now next is how you can create a circle from this elliptical marquee tool so friends for creating a proper circle from this elliptical marquee tool then you need to press shift while creating this elliptical so it will be automatically converted into the circle so this is also you can call a circle marquee tool so friends next we are going to see a single column marquee tool now what is this single column marquee tool once you click here then a single pixel row is created now a single column marquee tool is used to make a one pixel wide vertical selection like this 
okay which is not quite useful but we should know about it now by pressing the shift plus m you can switch to the vertical marquee tool so for creating a vertical marquee tool you can see this single column marquee tool and vertical column marquee tool so i'm just selecting this single column marquee tool and whenever i'm just clicking it one a single column marquee tool is created now friends we are going to see all these properties of the marquee tool so first i am selecting this rectangular marquee tool now here is the first option is new selection now i am already selecting this marquee tool and whenever i am selecting another marquee tool then for that it will show no pixel are selected for that you need to select this first option what is it new selection so if i am creating one new selection then previous selection is gone so with the help of this marquee tool you can select only given geometric shape if you a left click on the dragon of canvas the previous selection will disappear and a new selection will be created okay so like this you can only create a new single selection now friends next is add to selection so selecting this option you can add a new selection to your previous selection you can add a new multiple geometric shape to your previous selection shape for example i am just creating this new rectangular tool and if i want to add one more marquee tool then just select this option and now you can creating one more now you can creating one more like this you can create a multiple marquee tool okay but if i am selecting again this first option all the previous shape is gone like this so next is subtract from selection now what is subtract from previous selection now after selecting this option you can subtract a new selection from your previous selection okay for example right now i am creating this circle okay just creating a proper circle now i want to cut this shape from this center so what i am doing i am just selecting one rectangular tool and here i have selected this subtract from the selection and if i am creating one rectangle from this center then as you can see my elliptical circle will be cut it from the center so like this you can subtract from the previous selection now guys fourth option is that intersect with selection so what is intersect with selection this option is very useful for us while making the shape now the intersection option select is a common select of both previous and new selection okay for example right now i am creating this elliptical tool okay this elliptical tool now i am selecting this fourth option which is called a intersection of previous and a new selection so i'm just selecting this rectangular tool and create select this part and as you can see that selected part is only there and the other part is gone from my selection so this is a intersection of of previous and a new selection now friends next we are going to see a feather now what is a feather the option is basically used to make the edge of your selection sharper or smoother now the value of the feather is increase or the decrease depending on your requirement okay for example i am selecting this photoshop okay and now i am just uh, selecting this rectangular tool and select this part now as you can see if i am just check this part and as you can see this is called a feather okay like this you can increase and decrease the feather for example i am increasing a more feather okay just for the look i am show you how this feather is look like okay so friends next we are going to see a style now what is a style in style we have see a three different option normal fixed ratio and a fixed size now if i am selecting this rectangular tool then i can drag and drop in my screen like this because it is a normal fine i'm just deleting this and i'm going to see a second option which is a fixed ratio you can also apply a fixed ratio of width and height to your tool for example i am just applying the ratio 1 and a height 1 and once i'm creating my rectangular tool and as you can see i can only create a square because the ratio of width and height is 
now if i'm increasing the height for example 5 then as you can see my height will be more and width will be low so like this you can apply a fixed ratio to your shape so friends next is fixed size you can also apply a fixed size to your tool for example i want to create a 512 by 512 size of selection so i'm just applying 512 by 512 and just press enter and whenever i'm creating the square it will be creating a perfect square of size we applied for example i am creating this elliptical tool then for elliptical tool this size will not apply because it is a radius okay we can't apply a width and height to a elliptical tool so friends this is all about a marquee tool in adobe photoshop we can select a different different marquee tool like rectangular marquee tool elliptical marquee tool single row marquee tool or single color marquee tool on your project okay according to your requirement you can use this all the tools so guys thank you so much see you in the next video